Nicholas Luhmann, German, Lu Mann, December 8, 1927 to November 6, 1998, was a German sociologist, philosopher of social science, and a prominent thinker in systems theory, who is considered one of the most important social theorists of the 20th century. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Luhmann was born in Lüneburg, Prussia, where his father's family had been running a brewery for several generations. After graduating from the Johannium School in 1943, he was conscripted as a Luftwaffenhelfer in World War II and served for two years until, at the age of 17, he was taken prisoner of war by American troops in 1945. After the war Luhmann studied law at the University of Freiburg from 1946 to 1949, when he obtained a law degree, and then began a career in Lüneburg's public administration. During a sabbatical in 1961, he went to Harvard, where he met and studied under Talcott Parsons, then the world's most influential social systems theorist. In later years, Luhmann dismissed Parsons' theory, developing a rival approach of his own. Leaving the civil service in 1962, he lectured at the National Deutsche Hochschule für Verwaltungswissenschaften University for Administrative Sciences in Speyer, Germany, until 1965, when he was offered a position at the Sozialforschungsstelle Social Research Center of the University of Münster, led by Helmut Schelsky. 1965-66 he studied one semester of sociology at the University of Münster. Two earlier books were retroactively accepted as a Ph.D. thesis and habilitation at the University of Münster in 1966, qualifying him for a university professorship. In 1968–1969, he briefly served as a lecturer at Theodor Adorno's former chair at the University of Frankfurt and then was appointed full professor of sociology at the newly founded University of Bielefeld, Germany until 1993. He continued to publish after his retirement, when he finally found the time to complete his magnum opus, Die Gesellschaft der Gesellschaft literally, The Society of Society, which was published in 1997, and translated subsequently in English, under the title, Theory of Society, Volume 1 in 2012 and Volume 2 in 2013. Topic. Works Luhmann wrote prolifically, with more than 70 books and nearly 400 scholarly articles published on a variety of subjects, including law, economy, politics, art, religion, ecology, mass media, and love. While his theories have yet to make a major mark in American sociology, his theory is currently well known and popular in German sociology, and has also been rather intensively received in Japan and Eastern Europe, including Russia. His relatively low profile elsewhere is partly due to the fact that translating his work is a difficult task, since his writing presents a challenge even to readers of German, including many sociologists. P. XXVII Social Systems 1995 Much of Luhmann's work directly deals with the operations of the legal system and his autopoetic theory of law is regarded as one of the more influential contributions to the sociology of law and socio-legal studies. Luhmann is probably best known to North Americans for his debate with the critical theorist Jürgen Habermas over the potential of social systems theory. Like his one-time mentor Talcott Parsons, Luhmann is an advocate of grand theory, although neither in the sense of philosophical foundationalism nor in the sense of Meta-narrative, as often invoked in the critical works of postmodernist writers. Rather, Luhmann's work tracks closer to complexity theory broadly speaking, in that it aims to address any aspect of social life within a universal theoretical framework, of which the diversity of subjects he wrote about is an indication. Luhmann's theory is sometimes dismissed as highly abstract and complex, particularly within the Anglophone world, whereas his work has had a more lasting influence on scholars from German-speaking countries, Scandinavia and Italy. Luhmann himself described his theory as labyrinth-like or nonlinear, and claimed he was deliberately keeping his prose enigmatic to prevent it from being understood too quickly, which would only produce simplistic misunderstandings. Topic. Systems theory Luhmann's systems theory focuses on three topics, which are interconnected in his entire work. Systems theory is societal theory, communication theory and evolution theory. The core element of Luhmann's theory, pivots around the problem of the contingency of the meaning and thereby it becomes a theory of communication. 
Social systems are systems of communication, and society is the most encompassing social system. Being the social system that comprises all and only communication, today's society is a world society. A system is defined by a boundary between itself and its environment, dividing it from an infinitely complex, or colloquially chaotic, exterior. The interior of the system is thus a zone of reduced complexity. Communication within a system operates by selecting only a limited amount of all information available outside. This process is also called reduction of complexity. The criterion according to which information is selected and processed is meaning in German, Shin. Both social systems and psychic systems see below for an explanation of this distinction operate by processing meaning. Furthermore, each system has a distinctive identity that is constantly reproduced in its communication and depends on what is considered meaningful and what is not. If a system fails to maintain that identity, it ceases to exist as a system and dissolves back into the environment it emerged from. Luhmann called this process of reproduction from elements previously filtered from an over-complex environment autopoiesis pronounced autopoiesis, literally, self-creation, using a term coined in cognitive biology by Chilean thinkers Humberto Maturana and Francisco Varela. Social systems are operationally closed in that while they use and rely on resources from their environment, those resources do not become part of the system's operation. Both thought and digestion are important preconditions for communication, but neither appears in communication as such. Note, however, that Maturana argued very vocally that this appropriation of autopoetic theory was conceptually unsound, as it presupposes the autonomy of communications from actual persons. That is, by describing social systems as operationally closed networks of communications, Luhmann, according to Maturana, ignores the fact that communications presuppose human communicators. Autopoiesis only applies to networks of processes that reproduce themselves, but communications are reproduced by humans. For this reason, the analogy from biology to sociology does not, in this case, hold. On the other hand, Luhmann explicitly stressed that he does not refer to a society without humans, but to the fact that communication is autopoetic. Communication is made possible by human bodies and consciousness, but this does not make communication operationally open. Two participate in communication, one must be able to render one's thoughts and perceptions into elements of communication. This can only ever occur as a communicative operation thoughts and perceptions cannot be directly transmitted and must therefore satisfy internal system conditions that are specific to communication, intelligibility, reaching and addressee and gaining acceptance. Luhmann likens the operation of autopoiesis the filtering and processing of information from the environment to a program, making a series of logical distinctions in German, Unterscheidungen. Here, Luhmann refers to the British mathematician G. Spencer Brown's logic of distinctions that Maturana and Varela had earlier identified as a model for the functioning of any cognitive process. The supreme criterion guiding the self-creation of any given system is a defining binary code. This binary code is not to be confused with the computer's operation. Luhmann, following Spencer Brown and Gregory Battison, assumes that auto-referential systems are continuously confronted with the dilemma of disintegration continuation. This dilemma is framed with an ever-changing set of available choices. Every one of those potential choices can be the system's selection or not a binary state, selected, rejected. The influence of Spencer Brown's book, Laws of Form, on Luhmann can hardly be overestimated. Although Luhmann first developed his understanding of social systems theory under Parsons' influence, he soon moved away from the Parsonian concept. The most important difference is that Parsons framed systems as forms of action, in accordance with the Agile paradigm. Parsons' systems theory treats systems as operationally open, and interactive through an input and output schema. Influenced by second-order cybernetics, Luhmann instead treats systems as autopoetic and operationally closed. Systems must continually construct themselves and their perspective of reality through processing the distinction between system and environment, and self-reproduce themselves as the product of their own elements. Social systems are defined by Luhmann not as action but as recursive communication. Modern society is defined as a world system consisting of the sum total of all communication happening at once, and individual function systems such as the economy, politics, science, love, art, the media, etc. are described as social subsystems which have outdifferentiated 
from the social system and achieved their own operational closure and autopoiesis. Another difference is that Parsons asks how certain subsystems contribute to the functioning of overall society. Luhmann starts with the differentiation of the systems themselves out of a nondescript environment. While he does observe how certain systems fulfill functions that contribute to society as a whole, he dispenses with the assumption of a priori cultural or normative consensus or complementary purpose, which was common to Durkheim and Parsons' conceptualization of a social function. For Luhmann, functional differentiation is a consequence of selective pressure under temporalized complexity, and it occurs as function systems independently establish their own ecological niches by performing a function. Functions are therefore not the coordinated components of the organic social whole, but rather contingent and selective responses to reference problems which obey no higher principle of order and could have been responded to in other ways. Finally, the system's autopoetic closure is another fundamental difference from Parsons' concept. Each system works strictly according to its very own code and can observe other systems only by applying its code to their operations. For example, the code of the economy involves the application of the distinction between payment and non-payment. Other system operations appear within the economic field of references only insofar as this economic code can be applied to them. Hence, a political decision becomes an economic operation when it is observed as a government spending money or not. Likewise, a legal judgment may also be an economic operation when settlement of a contractual dispute obliges one party to pay for the goods or services they had acquired. The codes of the economy, politics and law operate autonomously, but their interpenetration is evident when observing events, which simultaneously involve the participation of more than one system. One seemingly peculiar, but within the overall framework strictly logical, axiom of Luhmann's theory is the human being's position outside any social system, initially developed by Parsons. Consisting of pure communicative actions, a reference to Jürgen Habermas any social system requires human consciousnesses personal or psychical systems as an obviously necessary, but nevertheless environmental resource. In Luhmann's terms, human beings are neither part of society nor of any specific systems, just as they are not part of a conversation. Luhmann himself once said concisely that he was not interested in people. That is not to say that people were not a matter for Luhmann, but rather, the communicative actions of people are constituted but not defined by society, and society is constituted but not defined by the communicative actions of people. Society is people's environment, and people are society's environment. Thus, sociology can explain how persons can change society, the influence of the environment the people on the system the society, the so-called structural coupling. In fact Luhmann himself replied to the relevant criticism by stating that, in fact the theory of autopoetic systems could bear the title taking individuals seriously, certainly more seriously than our humanistic tradition. Nicholas Luhmann, Operational Closure and Structural Coupling, The Differentiation of the Legal System, Cardozo Law Review, Vol. 13-1422. This approach has attracted criticism from those who argue that Luhmann has at no point demonstrated the operational closure of social systems, or in fact that autopoetic social systems actually exist. He has instead taken this as a premise or presupposition, resulting in the logical need to exclude humans from social systems, which prevents the social system's view from accounting for the individual behavior, action, motives, or indeed existence of any individual person. Luhmann was devoted to the ideal of non normative science introduced to sociology in the early 20th century by Max Weber and later re defined and defended against its critics by Karl Popper. However, in an academic environment that never strictly separated descriptive and normative theories of society, Luhmann's sociology has widely attracted criticism from various intellectuals, including Jürgen Habermas. <laughs> Luhmann's reception Luhmann's systems theory is not without its critics, his definitions of «autopoetic» and «social system» differ from others. At the same time his theory is being applied or used worldwide by sociologists and other scholars. It is often used in analyses dealing with corporate social responsibility, organizational legitimacy, governance structures as well as with sociology of law and of course general sociology. Topic. Miscellaneous 
Lumen also appears as a character in Paul Wehr's work of literature Das Falsch Buch, together with, among others, Ulrich Sonnemann, Johann Georg Hammann, and Richard Buckminster Fuller. Lumen owned a pub, Pons, in his parents' house in his native town of Lüneburg. The house, which also contained his father's brewery, had been in his family's hands since 1857. Topic: <laughs> Publications. A certain number of original books and articles are available for download. See below. External links. 1963, with Franz Becker, Verwaltungsfeller und Vertrauenschitz, Moglichkeiten Gesetzlicher Regeling der Rucknembarkeit von Verwaltungsakten, Berlin, Dunker and Humblot 1964, Functionen und Folgen Formeler Organisation, Berlin, Dunker and Humblot 1965, A Fenlich Rechtliche Entschädigung Rechtspolitisch Betrachtet, Berlin, Dunker and Humblot 1965, Grundrecht ALS Institution, Ein Betrag zur Politischen Soziologie, Berlin, Dunker and Humblot 1966, Recht und Automation in der Fenlichen Verwaltung, eine Verwaltungswissenschaftliche Untersuchung, Berlin, Dunker und Humblot 1966, Theorie der Verwaltungswissenschaft, Bestandsaufnahme und Entwurf, Köln Berlin 1968, Vertrauen, ein Mechanismus der Reduktion sozialer Komplexität, Stuttgart, Enke English Translation, Trust and Power, Chichester, Wiley, 1979, 1968, Zweckbegriff und Systemrationalität, über die Function von Von Zwecken in Sozalen Systemen, Tübingen, J. C. B. Moore, Paul Siebeck 1969, Legitimation Dirch Verfahren, Neuwied, Berlin, Luchterhand 1970, Soziologische Erklärung, Ozatz zur Theorie Sozialer Systeme, Köln, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag English translation of some of the articles, The Differentiation of Society, New York, Columbia University Press, 1982-1971 with Jürgen Habermas, Theorie der Gesellschaft oder Sozialtechnologie, was leistet die Systemforschung? Frankfurt, Surkamp 1971, Politische Planning, Ozatz zur Soziologie von Politik und Verwaltung, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag 1972, Rechtssoziologie, two volumes, Rheinbeck, Rowold, English translation, A Sociological Theory of Law, London, Routledge, 1985, 1973, with Renata Mainz, Personal im Dienst, Eintritt und Karrieren, Baden Baden, Nomos 1974, Rechtssystem und Rechtsdogmatik, Stuttgart, Hammer 1975, Matched, Stuttgart, Enke English Translation, Trust and Power, Chichester, Wiley, 1979, 1975, Soziologische Erklärung II, Ozatz zur Theorie der Gesellschaft, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag, ISBN 978-3-531-61281-2 English Translation of Some of the Articles, The Differentiation of Society, New York, Columbia University Press, 1982 1977, Function der Religion, Frankfurt, Surkamp English translation of pp. 72-181, Religious Dogmatics and the Evolution of Societies, New York, Toronto, Edwin Mellon Press 1978, Organisation und Entscheidung equals Rheinisch Westfalische Akademie der Wissenschaften, Vortrage G232, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag 1979 with Karl Eberhard Schor, Reflections Probleme Eimer Ziehung System, Stuttgart, Klett Kata. 1980, Gesellschaftsstruktur und Semantik, Studien zur Wissenssoziologie der modernen Gesellschaft I, Frankfurt, Surkamp. 1981, Politische Theorie im Wohlfahrtsstaat, München, Olzog English translation with essays from Soziologische Erklärung 4, Political Theory in the Welfare State, Berlin, De Gruyter, 1990. 1981, Gesellschaftsstruktur und Semantik, Studien zur Wissenssoziologie der modernen Gesellschaft II, Frankfurt, Surkamp 1981, Ausdifferenzierung des Rechts, Beatrice zur Rechtssoziologie und Rechtstheorie, Frankfurt, Surkamp 1981, Soziologische Erklärung III, Sozial System, Gesellschaft, Organisation, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag 1982, Lieb als Passion, zur Kodierung von Intimität, Frankfurt, Surkamp English translation, Love as Passion, The Codification of Intimacy, Cambridge, Polity Press, 1986, ISBN 978-0-8047-3253-6. 
1984, Soziali Systeme, Grundry einer Allgemeinen Theorie, Frankfurt, Surkamp, English Translation, Social Systems, Stanford, Stanford University Press, 1995. 1985, Kahn die moderne Gesellschaft sich auf ökologisch gefährdungen einstellen? Equals Rheinisch Westfalisch Akademie der Wissenschaften, Vortrage G278, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag. 1986, Die Soziologische Beobachtung des Rechts, Frankfurt, Metzner. 1986, Ökologische Kommunikation, Kahn die moderne Gesellschaft sich auf ökologisch gefährdungen einstellen? Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag English Translation, Ecological Communication, Cambridge, Polity Press, 1989 1987, Soziologische Aklärung IV, Beatrice zur Funktionalen Differenzierung der Gesellschaft, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag 1987, edited by Dirk Becker and Georg Stanitzik, Archimedes und WIR, Interviews, Berlin, Merv. 1988, Die Wirtschaft der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp. 1988, Erkenntnis als Konstruktion, Bern, Bentelli. 1989, Gesellschaftsstruktur und Semantik, Studien zur Wissenssoziologie der modernen Gesellschaft III, Frankfurt, Surkamp. 1989, with Peter Fuchs, Redden und Schweigen, Frankfurt, Surkamp, Partial English Translation. Speaking in Silence. New German Critique 61 1994, pp. 25-37 1990, Risiko und Gefahr equals Olivortrage 48, St. Gallen 1990, Paradigm Lost, Über die Ethische Reflexion der Moral, Frankfurt, Surkamp, Partial English Translation. Paradigm Lost, On the Ethical Reflection of Morality, Speech on the Occasion of the Award of the Hegel Prize 1988. Thesis 1129 pp. 82–94 1990, Essays on Self-Reference, New York, Columbia University Press 1990, Soziologische Aklärung 5, Konstruktivistische Perspektiven, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag 1990, Die Wissenschaft der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp, English translation of Chapter 10, The Modernity of Science New German Critique 61 1994, pp. 9–23 1991, Soziologie des Risikos, Berlin, de Gruyter English Translation, Risk, A Sociological Theory, Berlin, de Gruyter 1992, with Raphael de Giorgi, Teoria della Societa, Milano, Franco Angeli 1992, Biobachtungen der Moderna, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag 1992, edited by André Kieserling, Universitat ALS Milieu, Bielefeld, Hawks 1993, GIBTS in unserer Gesellschaft nach Unversichtbare Norman, Heidelberg, C.F. Muller 1993, Das Recht der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp, English Translation, Law as a Social System, Oxford, Oxford University Press, 2004, ISBN 0-19-826238-8 1994, Die Ausdifferenzierung des Kunstsystems, Bern, Bentelli 1995, Die Realität der Massenmedien equals Nordrhein-Westfälischen Akademie der Wissenschaften, Vortrage G333, Opladen 1995, 2nd, Extended Edition 1996, English Translation, The Reality of the Mass Media, Stanford, Stanford University Press, ISBN 978-0-8047-4077-7 1995, Soziologische Aklärung 6, Die Soziologie und der Mensch, Opladen, Westdeutscher Verlag 1995, Gesellschaftsstruktur und Semantik, Studien zur Wissenssoziologie der modernen Gesellschaft 4, Frankfurt, Surkamp 1995, Die Kunst der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp English Translation, Art as a Social System, Stanford, Stanford University Press, 2000 1996, Die Neuzeitlichen Wissenschaften und die Phänomenologie, Wien, Pekus 1996, edited by Kai-Uwe Hellmann, Protest, Systemtheorie und Soziale Bewegungen, Frankfurt, Surkamp 1996, Modern Society Shocked by its Risks equals University of Hong Kong, Department of Sociology Occasional Papers 17, Hong Kong, available via HKU Scholars Hub 
1997, Die Gesellschaft der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp English translation, Theory of Society, Stanford, Stanford University Press 1998, Die Politik der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp Herausgegeben von André Kieserling, 2000 1998, Die Religion der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp Herausgegeben von André Kieserling, 2000 1998, Das Erziehungssystem der Gesellschaft, Frankfurt, Surkamp Herausgegeben von Dieter Lenzen, 2002 Articles 2006, System as Difference Organization, Vol. 13 1, January 2006, pp. 37–57 References Further reading Detlef Horster Nicholas Lumen, München David Seidel and Kai Helga Becker, Nicholas Lumen and Organization Studies. Copenhagen Business School Press, Copenhagen 2005, ISBN 978-87-630-0162-5. Michel Infante 2012. Teoria Systemica dei Media. Lumen e la Comunicazione, p. 1-262, Arachne Editrice, Roma, ISBN 978-88-548-4723-1 Michel Infante 2013. Codification, Signal, Canal, Noise, Encoding and Decoding. In New Atlantis. Nature and Human Sciences and Complexity Journal, Year 28, and Degree 2 July, December 2013, p. 57-60, ISSN 2281-9495, ISBN 978-88-548-6611-9, doi, 10.4399, 97888548661198. Michel Infante 2013. Information. In New Atlantis, Nature and Human Sciences and Complexity Journal Year 28, and Degree 2 July, Dec 2013p, 61-64, Arachne Editrice, doi, 10.4399, 97 trillion 888,548,661,199. Michel Infante 2013. Systemic Boundary. In New Atlantis, Nature and Human Sciences and Complexity Journal, Year 28, and Degree 2 July, December 2013, Arachne Editrice, ISSN 2281-9495, ISBN 978-88-548-6611-9, p. 65-68, doi, 10. 4,399,978,885,486,611,910 Michel Infante Media Construction of Fair and Social Risk in the Late 2000s Financial Crisis. New Atlantis, Nature and Human Sciences and Complexity Journal, Year 28, N Degree 1 Dec, June 2013, Arachne Editrice Vol. 1, p. 59-78, ISSN 2281-9495, doi doi, 10.4399, 97 trillion 888,548,601,559 Alana Gershon 2005. Seeing Like a System, Lumen for Anthropologists. Anthropological Theory 5, 2, 99-116. Giorgio Manfrey. La Societa della Societa. Quattroventi, Urbino, 2008. Giorgio Manfrey. Eros e Societa Mondo. Lumen, Marx Freud. Quattroventi, Urbino, 2004. Hans Georg Moller, 2012. The Radical Lumen, New York. Javier Torres Nafaret y Dario Rodriguez Mancia, 2008, Introducción a la Teoría de la Sociedad de Nicolás Lumen. Mexica, Editorial Herder. Oliver Jarris, Armin Nasehi et al., 2012. Lumen Handbook. Leben, Work, Working, Stuttgart. Georg Nier and Armin Nasehi, 2004. Nicholas Lumen. Eine Einfring, München. Alexander Riegler and Armin Scholl eds. 2012, Lumen's Relation to and Relevance for Constructivist Approaches. Special Issue. Constructivist Foundations 8 1, 1-116, freely available at the journal's website. 
Magdalena Zaniva, ed. Nachtflug der Yule. Gedenkbuch Zoom 15. Todestag von Nicholas Luhmann, Berlin 2013. Alberto Sevellini, Where Does Nicholas Luhmann's Card Index Come From? Erudition and the Republic of Letters, Vol. 3, n. 4, 2018, pp. 390-420. doi, 101163 2405506900304002 External links System Thinking De, a mind map presenting selected links on Luhmann Socio-Cybernetics mailing list, mailing list concerning Nicholas Luhmann's theoretical work Systemas Sociales scientific divulgation of fundamental ideas of Luhmann's theory of autopoetic social systems in Spanish Soft copies of original books and articles available for download Password. George Spencer Brown